Ooh, one of my favorite Yeroos. Love this game. Join the team. Hey Team Smoguire Review, and today we're going to take a look at the Lost Runes of Arnak. Now this one has been out for a little while now. Um, it has become, I, I think, one of my favorite type of little uh, worker placement, resource management kind of Euros. I love the theme. Uh, I loved the actual just base version of this game. They have released two expansions. One of them was a leader's expansion that came first. Uh, and now we do have the brand new expansion here which is the missing expedition so we'll talk about that because it's it's very different than anything that's come out so far i think it's actually a really unique way to play this game as well and it's something kind of different in the space as well so we'll talk about what this expansion offers because i'm not sure that everybody really understands what this expansion actually is so we'll talk about that we'll talk about the leaders a little bit you will notice i have two copies here uh, of the brand new expansion and that is because uh, CGE did send over uh, one of these copies for review, this one right here, and then I actually purchased one as well. I happened to be, uh, I was at Gen Con, and they did have this released at Gen Con, um, and I got kind of anxious on it, and I just went ahead and purchased a copy because I wanted to get into it right away. So that's why I have two copies. And then CGE graciously sent over, or had planned on sending another one over uh, for review, as well, uh, which I haven't opened. It's in the shrink, obviously, because I have this one. So with that said, what I think I'm going to do, um, again, I could just keep both of them, uh, but I kind of like to give back to the community, especially when I end up in situations where I've got a couple different copies of things. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway on, on this one. So if you are interested in this expansion, you haven't picked it up yet, I think it goes for around the $30 mark, so it's not super cheap. Um, but you know, you definitely get your value. There's quite a bit that comes in this expansion and you want to enter for that giveaway. You can just hit the subscribe button below, uh, and comment. And, uh, I'm also going to have a tweet on Twitter. If you're out there on Twitter, that will be for this video. And if you just go ahead and, uh, follow there on Twitter and you can like the tweet or retweet the tweet, you have to interact with the tweet in some way. That way I can kind of see you. Uh, and then I'll put all of the folks for that, all the folks for YouTube, kind of all in a list, so you can, you know, you can kind of get double tickets in the hat. Doesn't matter. I don't need to know who's who. You just give yourself more opportunity to win, uh, because I may pull your username either from the Twitter side or the YouTube side. That's how we'll do that. It's really simple. Uh, if you want to get entered there, we'll run this here for I don't know a couple weeks, and then I will select a winner, and I'll let you know. I'll reach out. Um, I'll post the winner here on YouTube, so check back here on YouTube. I, I'll pin it right at the top who the winner is, and I will also, uh, on your comment, tell you that you've you've won. So that's how we'll do that, and I'll give I'll give this one away. I'll ship it to you for free. It's open to the U.S., um, and I'll I'll ship that to you free, no problem. <clears throat> okay, and that's on me. I just you know got an extra copy, like to give back. So that's what we'll do. So let's talk about why I like, because in this video, I don't want to, it's not just kind of a review and what is this. I want to kind of talk about the platform that we have here as well, because I have a lot of thoughts kind of around this game and this platform that I think would be good uh, to just kind of listen to and digest, whether you know a lot about this game or you don't. Um, I'm a big fan of just the base game, and the reason is because I thought that it was done really, really well. It's just a the base game. Um, I love the theme. And it reminded me of something like Stone Age, one of the best worker placement, uh, fun kind of Euro type games, in my opinion, and probably many others of all time. Uh, and this kind of reminded me of that game because it was, you know, it's straightforward enough. You know, you put your person where you want, you collect your materials. There's a number of different ways to kind of get points. There's actually a lot more different ways in this game than there would be in comparable to Stone Age to get points. But I really, really liked it. And when the first expansion came out, that was Leaders, what it did was it offered you a number of different uh, new uh, characters. And there's characters in this one. We'll talk about it. And every one of them was different, okay? In the base game, each player has a board, and those boards are relatively this, pretty much the same. And you just 
differentiate yourself over time of the game by how you decide to get points and win, and that determines the winner, right? Where in the leader's expansion, the first one, everybody now has sort of this leader that has a specific abilities and, and quote-unquote, you could say powers, but specific abilities to be able to play this game. And that added some replayability. They also added in, you know, more monsters, more artifacts, all that kind of stuff, different research tracks. All that was great. But for me, now having those leaders that were all different, had the different powers, and this is just my opinion, I think it actually took a little bit away from the base fun and base design of this game. Most are going to disagree with that, because most review channels that did videos on the leaders expansion, it was like, oh, it's what this game needed, it now made this game great, it's the only way that they'll play now. Not for me. I think the base game is the way to go. The base game was done well. The base game was rock solid. I would be happy with just give me more research tracks, more um, allies, more different types of monsters, more different types of artifacts. I can just add to those components. Don't change the base game. Don't give me this asymmetric. Every single player is completely different with different abilities. I just don't want that for a game like this because then a game like this becomes like every other board game that exists. And now it's just nothing more than a fantasy adventure game that you have a different character and everybody's character is different. Let's not make every game in the industry like that, right? Like, the game, in the way that it was, is awesome. So, I just... I hope that you're hearing that message, and you don't think that you have to buy the Leaders expansion to be able to play this game and have a great time. Because pretty much every single review video, that is what I've heard so far on all those videos. So, I don't know, I don't know why there were such strong feelings there on that, versus just the way the game actually is okay now with this and i don't even own the leaders expansion and i have no indication in buying it so i just want to make sure that's clear as well because i don't want all of those leaders i do like the extra components that come in for those other things but i'm not going to buy the expansion to only get that stuff and then i got all the leaders that i'm never going to use I'm just not going to do it so here we have their second expansion which is the missing expedition okay that brought in something that I think is very, very different and unique for this game. And you can kind of experience, and when you're done with it, you're probably going to be done with it. You obviously can play through the campaign a number of times. But more than likely, uh, I'm going to play through a two-player campaign, cooperative campaign. And then I probably will not do that again. I will then take all of the cards and the monsters and artifacts and all of that. And I will shuffle it all into the base game, which is exactly what you would want to do when you're done. And then I would have all that extra stuff in the base game. That's what I'm going to do. And the value is there 100%. This expansion is not a competitive kind of thing, like the base game or the leader's expansion. This is designed and 100% a cooperative experience. And it is a cooperative experience only for two. The campaign is not designed to play for three or four. It is designed to be a two-player cooperative campaign or a solo campaign. There are some rules that here that will slightly modify some of the stuff to make it to where if you just want to play through solo, you can do that as well. One of the things is, if for some reason you don't like, because these are essentially leaders. They become leaders. You can use these leaders in the leader expansion with the base game if you want to play that way. I really love how they've used some good design there to where like every expansion and anything they come out with, it really all kind of ties and taps together. They've done a really nice job with that. So if you just get this expansion, uh, or if you already have the leaders and you buy this, you got two more leaders now. You can use this in your leaders uh, setup. You can also use these in the standard game. You just won't use their little extra things that come with the characters. You can use this in, in the standard game if you want to. The cool thing um, about this is that you get to go on this cooperative campaign. And it is pretty meaty. Um, this right here is the campaign book. Uh, and it's, I mean, that's that's all campaign right so it's and there's there's scripts and things that you'll read and, and and that will happen based on decisions you know go to script number 39 go to script number you know 26 whatever so you've got that component kind of built into this it steps you through what each one of the chapters are going to be and based on what happens 
which is essentially the outcome of each game. Then you'll have like points and you'll go on uh, various different like plot paths. There's a little sheet here to record all of that and your points and whatnot for your campaign. It's just very, very cool um, that you can kind of experience this game in that way. It's like a completely different, it's like utilizing everything that's here to experience it in a different way. Uh, you do get some really cool new uh, artifact um, little little research trees. Here's a, like a temple one, and then on this side, it's like kind of like the waterfall uh, area. So I really like the artwork and the look of these, which obviously you can just add right to the base game if you want to use. You definitely get new uh, monsters and locations. Your actual characters, you've got the mechanic and the journalist, and they are really cool. Um, and that's one reason why I kind of like this. It's like it's beyond a leader. It's got a lot of other cool things. The journalist will focus on, you know, getting these little newspaper articles and publishing little, you know, articles and whatnot. Where the mechanic has like this little monkey helper uh, and she's working on, you know, making different types of uh, machines. And she's got this little thing here that creates widgets out of these pieces of gold, which is really cool. That's a really cool concept. There are a few pieces in the game that are specific for the campaign that you wouldn't use in any other version of playing this game. Uh, these are two components here. There's this little like fog and like tide uh, piece here that will go on the board. And then you have this little uh, research track overlay that you can put on there. So there are a couple, you know, bits and whatnot. And it says right in the book which ones are which that you would not use. Um, in the base in the base game you would only use for the campaign and when you're done with the campaign then you're done now when it comes to the campaign there are some people that like to buy these types of things they want to play the campaign they want to come back up six months later they might want to play the campaign again solo you can do that no problem just keep all your components uh, separate come back play it no issue if you want to mix all your components in and then later you want to come back you've obviously got your book you can go through your components. You can pick out the things that you know come with the campaign. All of the, the cards for the campaign have a special little icon on them so you can identify them quickly. So you just kind of go through your cards, pull out all the ones that have the icon for this cooperative campaign, and then you're good to go. Um, so that can be done no problem. Uh, it just would take, obviously, a little bit of work to kind of separate everything once you sort of put it all into the base game. Again, for me... I'm going to invest in the two-player cooperative campaign. I'm going to have fun with it. I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm one that once I experience it, I kind of want to move on to the next thing. If I'm going to spend another however many hours it would take to go through that, I'd rather be spending that time exploring and having a different experience with probably another game. Uh, or coming back and just playing the base game uh, a number of more times. So that's what, that's what I'm going to do on a personal level. The other thing that I'll mention real quick is there is a nice hefty set of cards that is in this expansion and you're not going to want to pop them out of the pack and then just start shuffling them up uh, they are in a specific order that is designed for chapter by chapter as you go through your your campaign experience and that's that team that is cge's lost rooms of arnok if you are interested in this game i think you're really going to like it if you like the worker placement kind of stuff you like sort of the uh, adventure kind of indiana jones style um, theme I think you're really going to like it. Um, I love it. I think it's a great one. I highly recommend it. And even with this good size hefty box, you can get this base game at a really good price right now uh, out there. Um, right around that $40 mark, I believe, is, is what I think I picked it up for. Um, so, you know, great price on the base game. Uh, this expansion is still about at the $30 range. I think the leaders is a little bit cheaper at this point. Uh, but, you know, if you get in on that giveaway, then you might just get this copy right here absolutely for free. All right, team, with that, keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time.